This week, Google has launched their AI-powered UI design tool called Stitch, and it's gonna change the way we design and build UI applications. So Stitch is currently in beta mode, and it's available to everyone for free at this point. And you can access Stitch by going to the website stitch.withgoogle.com, or you can just directly go to Google and search for Stitch, and you'll end up on their homepage. From the homepage, we can see that it's a website that transforms ideas into UI designs, for mobile and web applications and this is with the help of AI and you can see that you can describe your um, design that you want to create for mobile or the web uh, using natural language processing and you can optionally add an image so that you can basically tell Stitch to ins get inspired by that particular design and create the design based on that mock-up or the sketch that you're creating. Now before we go on and explore the dashboard and how to create ex uh, our own designs or look at some examples as well, let's just go and know what Stitch is and answer a few questions over here. Now what is Stitch? Stitch is basically an AI powered tool to help application builders generate high quality user interfaces for mobile and web apps and easily export them to Figma. I think that is an amazing feature that Stitch is offering or directly access the front end code. It uses some of the latest AI models from Google DeepMind. So behind the scene, they are using Gemini Pro and is Stitch free of charge? Is that the question that is coming in your head? And it is. Stitch is available for free of charge with certain usage limits. From the, the flash mode, that is the standard mode, allows you for 350 generations. And the experimental mode, which is using that image, that optional image, is 50 generations. Now, when your monthly limits exceed, you won't be able to design further for that particular month. But after that, you know, uh, you can continue with your designs. And I think it's a fair limit that they're offering. And Stitch is available in 212 countries. So I think most likely where you are viewing this video from, your uh, country will be having Stitch. And another important question that they've answered is, can I use these designs for commercial purposes? Because many of us are coming over here for the UI designs because we don't want to spend that extra time and effort designing these applications. And we want AI to help us design that faster and cleaner. And we are getting a answer from Google that says that Google won't claim ownership over that content. Basically, we are responsible for fully reviewing and complying with the terms. So basically, we can use these designs for commercial purposes as well. Now, when you come to the dashboard, it's pretty clean. On the left hand side, you can see examples and you'll also see the designs that you've made for yourself. And on the right hand side, you have the stitch uh, design tool and when you enter your prompts it will basically process that into designs and you'll see those designs as well on the right and top uh, navigation you have two modes standard mode which allows you for 350 generations and experimental mode if i click on experimental you see a optional uh, image upload or you can also attach a sketch or a mock-up and or a visual inspiration so you can go online and basically search for any of the visually inspiring websites that you have uh, or you like and you can paste a snapshot of that so that stitch can take those ideas and generate those designs based off those ideas now let's quickly have a look at a few of the examples that Stitch has already created for us. For example, this is a board game planner and you can see that the prompt given by the user was, can you also add, oh, that's not the first prompt part. Let's go ahead. I'm working on a mobile app for my board game um, friend group. I'd like the application to have a calendar view with the next event, a creation page to add a new event, a browse page to visualize new board games we could play, a history page and other stuff as well. So Google Stitch has gone back and created this mobile application view which lets the user create the new event. So It has a few input fields and it has the calendar view as well and has the new games section so it has all it has filter as well you can search on it and shows that and also has a navigation at the bottom of this uh, application so it the design looks to be very clean something that you can take back and you know design it or build it yourself uh, by looking at this or getting inspired from this and you also have the histories board or it's a list basically and the leaderboard which shows enough information that the user wants so this you know conversation was you know back and forth the user 
uh, Stitch gave the user a few different designs, but the user went back to update a few things to dark theme or to other themes as well. And finally, this was what was generated and the user was pretty happy with it. And this was using the standard mode. We also have a personal photo library, which is like a one page website. Um, the photo library app with schematic uh, image recognition UX is a sidebar library and a detail view. And for this one, the experimental mode was used and the user also attached an image. So it's basically a sketch or like a fiddle that the user did. And based off of that, Google Stitch went ahead and created that design. I think it's brilliant. You can see that the user tried their best to uh, give enough details to the to Stitch to have the sidebar over here with the header, the search and some categories. Um, this is the section and this is the details view and Google basically created the same thing using the sketch that the user provided. Um, so Stitch did an amazing job in this place. I think the details section looks amazing and clean um, and has all the details that the user wanted. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and create our own design now and we'll use the standard mode in this case and then we'll go ahead and use the experimental mode. So in this one, I'm asking Stitch to create an e-commerce website for me that sells indoor plants. Homepage should have a hero section, popular products, categories, and a footer. I also want categories page, the product details page, the cart, checkout, success, and error pages. Basically, it has all the pages that an e-commerce application has and you know, let's see how Stitch does using the standard mode. And I'm wanting it for a web, so I'm clicking web. So it took about a minute or two uh, for Stitch to create those designs for me. And it's come up with six pages. Let's look at the first page over here. So it gave us the home page with the top navigation. It's, this is the name of the website. Uh, a few categories or different pages you can go to the website. So like a shop page, plant care, about us and a contact page. It also has the search feature so that you can search by the plant name, a wish list button and a cart button. And this shows that the user is currently logged in. Pretty brilliant. Now on the hero section, it shows the name of uh, the page or the website or, uh, you know, the what we sell um, and a nice little image. We also have the popular picks, which is the popular products page that I asked uh, Stitch to give me which it has done that and it has shop by categories as well. So that's amazing. And it also has a call to action to subscribe to the, um, to the page. And by the way, if you like this video, you should subscribe to the channel as well. Now also a footer. Now that's, that's good. I like the theme as well. It's nice, clean, and you know, the greens go with the plant as well. And the next page is the shop all plants it shows all the categories or the plants the categories will also be kind of the same thing. Um, and this has changed, you know, the cart button has changed over here, but that's not pretty consistent. The third page is the product details page. We have the image, a pretty big image. We shouldn't have that. Um, but then we have the description of the product. Then we have the size of the product and then the price add to cart. I think it has enough information and we get the theme that, you know, where it's leading to. We also have this, um, this bar over here. Next, we have the shopping cart page where we have the three items that we have added to the cart. We have the subtotal shipping information and the total as well. Uh, and a button from which we can check out. Checkout has the shipping information. I specifically did not mention shipping and I wanted to see how it would come up with the uh, checkout page, but it has done a good job to capture those shipping information because that's a vital thing. And the shipping mode as well, a method, and then the payment summary used by credit card or PayPal. And it has also given the uh, sign for the credit card and complete order button. And finally, it also gave us the success page when the order is complete. You can see the order number and all the other details. I think it skipped on the um, error page that I asked it to do, but that's totally fine. I think we, we get the gist of it. So now that it has created us a design and um, a design template basically for our website, you can go ahead and edit a few things in here. Now there's a few options. I'll go one by one. There's an edit theme option. Uh, if you click over here, you can have the appearance as the light theme or the dark theme. Um, I'll stay with the light theme and then you can choose the colors that go on your website. Let's say I like the color yellow and then you can also go ahead and change the corner radius. 
or the border radius basically and you can play around with these options and also change the font and let's apply the theme and see how it looks like so you can see that it applied the changes to our website we have more border radius for um, all our elements and these call to action buttons have a special yellow color applied to them it's still making the changes at the moment but we get the gist of it now you can also have the option to edit um, the templates from here so if we if i click on the edit button you can see that it added the context of that template to this um this chat window and now i can basically tell it to edit or update that particular template so let's say i uh, please change the top navigation background to dark now it's gone ahead and changed the entire home page background to dark which we didn't want it to but it's done that but you know it's not perfect at the moment i think it needs changes because i specifically asked it to change only the top navigation to a dark theme but it, it's done this uh, another feature that it offers is that you can copy the design and export it directly to uh, figma using just one click so if i click on this button that says copy to figma you can go ahead and go to your figma template and just paste it so i'll say paste here and it's basically copied that design template directly inside of Figma. And you can go ahead and now edit this design uh, and fiddle around with your design as you would do in Figma. But you've got a great start already. So let's say I want to change the heading over here. I'll just expand on this one. I'll say this or my indoor plant store. So you can go ahead and this basically generates you a Figma design directly from Stitch. And I think this is brilliant because you don't have to start creating those Figma designs from scratch. You can go ahead and describe what you want from the application or the website that you're about to build. Go ahead and use Stitch to create it for you. And even then you can you know, come back in Figma and then edit your designs um, the way you want it to be. So another great feature that Stitch offers us is the experimental mode in which you can click on the experimental mode and then you can attach your inspiration or the visual inspiration. So I'm going to do that and from selections I have a orange colored uh, let's say visual inspiration that I want it to be to take the colors at least. Um, have a clean template and design a price comparison landing page comparing three different retailers so if i click on generate designs and this is for the mobile this time so this is what stitch has come back with this is the picture that i gave it this is an orange colored website that i found uh, or liked and i thought i'll just give stitch this website's uh, screenshot basically I just you know snipped it from here and attached it to uh, stitch and it came up with this price comparison website comparing three different retailers from the theme and the colors that I told it to I didn't even write all that stuff but it went ahead and you know gave me a orange colored price comparison mobile friendly website so yeah this was a quick little demo with Google stitch and I think it's an amazing tool to build and design uh, your websites really fast and you can also give you know like low level mockups uh, to stitch and it can give you uh, UI designs in just a few seconds um, for personally for you know people like me who hate designing stuff from scratch uh, stitch brings a lot on the table and even if this was a pay tool I would have been happy to pay for it but it's a free tool for everyone to use you should go ahead and check stitch out uh, the links are in the description and you know go ahead create a few designs and implement that basically build it for your personal projects you can start using that but even if you are building something for commercial use you don't have to spend hours and hours thinking about a design you can go ahead use stitch and it will give you a design that you can implement i hope you like this video if you did please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one